So Loki all the way through was excellent, but I wasn't expecting the finale to make me feel so good. Usually I'm let down by the end of a season, but yeah, this finale was fantastic. There was no let down. So excited we're officially getting a season two of Loki, which means more Owen Wilson. Disney, I love you, even though probably in a few decades you're going to enslave us all. Really quick live chat tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, July 14th, talking about the Loki finale. I will put a link down below if you want to chat about it. If you're watching this video after the 14th, sorry. Hi, holy shit. Today, with the finale, the multiverse was born, or rather, reborn with the death of He Who Remains. And Doctor Strange has to be so sick of Wanda and Loki's shit, like just ripping his hair out. Wanda has the dark hold that she's messing around with, which is gonna cause a lot of chaos. And then we have Loki's over here causing multiverse shenanigans, which is going to lead to wars and Doctor Strange having to protect his earth. And also, you know, other Doctor Stranges having to pick, defend their earth. I'm sure the ancient one is so glad she dipped out when she did. And just think about the possibilities that this finale gave us. We could see worlds where mutants exist. We get to see alternate versions of heroes we've known for years and loved. We get to see said heroes battling it out when the different universes go to war. And I cannot wait to meet the other versions of Kang he who remains, because not all of them are going to be as, I, I say benevolent, as the one we met this episode. There's going to be uh, some crazier ones. The one we saw this episode has been alive for a really long time, understands, okay, well, I don't believe that the ends justify the means, but he does. He, he's definitely different than the Kanes we're going to meet in other future MCU properties. Jonathan Majors killed it as this version of Kang. A uh, eccentric person, yet really tired with all the lives he's lived and with all the knowledge that he has. And I wasn't really familiar with Jonathan Majors. I think the only thing I know him from is Lovecraft Country. So I was a little worried about his range and if he can pull it off because we know we're gonna see different versions of his character. We're going to see some that are a bit more uh, fucking evil and wanting to conquer. And we're going to see ones that are a bit more innocent and goofy and, you know, just the, the awkward scientist. So there's a lot of different versions of his character that he's going to have to play. Which you got to think as an actor, this is a dream, where you get to play one character, but you get to play a bunch of different versions of it, going from a lovable goofball to a homicidal maniac. I'm now terrified with Elioth and how we know more Kangs are going to take Elioth and weaponize it and we're going to see entire worlds just eaten and it's going to be terrifyingly cool. Honestly, it's been a while since I've been really excited for an MCU villain. Loki is kind of a given, but he's more of an anti-hero at this point. But seeing the Conqueror and the fact that we are getting all these different versions at once, yeah. This is gonna be crazy. What I'm not jazzed up about, and excuse my elder speech, is that Sylvie betrayed Loki. I guess some Lokis just can't change. But it just feels so messed up that Loki had genuine feelings for someone, I actually loved someone, even though it is himself, and it got thrown back in his face and he was betrayed. Though I guess you could think about it from Sylvie's perspective, Loki betrayed her. Kind of like what Renslayer was saying to Mobius, no, 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 I didn't betray you. You betrayed me. Although I would say um, sending someone to the end of time to die is probably a worse betrayal, but you know, who, who can say for sure? I'm not really sure what side people are going to take on this, whether they're more pro Sylvie and she was right, that it's just fiction, you're controlling people, you're taking away all these different worlds, these timelines, and it's not right, or if 
Loki is more correct in, hey, this is the this is the lesser evil. This is the ends justify the means. Like we need to do this because something much worse can happen if we take him out. But choosing that option means billions upon billions of people cease to exist or never get to exist in the first place. So is it really better? I, I get they want to keep the sacred timeline, their universe safe, but at the expense of so many others, I just, I side more with Sylvie, to be honest. But I guess it's easier to be idealistic when you haven't been around for a really, really long time and seen every path and seen, okay, no matter what I do, unless I do this one thing, it's gonna be chaos. There's going to be so much death and war. And this is the only way to keep peace the best that I can. Back to Renslayer, she's going to go look for free will. And since we know the temp pad can now jump you to other universes, I have a feeling she's going to search out a much darker king, someone that matches what she thinks, where I will do anything because I believe in the end goal. I believe in the mission. And she's going to find a cane that is completely on board with her and a lot more ruthless. And it's going to be terrifying. She's going to be a terrifying lieutenant. And if we're lucky, we're going to see some of this, which is sex. I want to see Renslayer and Kang get it on. Sorry. But am I? Now, my interpretation of Mobius not knowing Loki at the end was Sylvie put him in a different universe. I understand that some people might come to the conclusion of, oh no, their memories have been wiped again, just like their previous lives. But I don't think so. I, I think he's actually been put in a different universe completely. Now, whether that was on purpose or an accident, maybe she thought she was putting him in a certain place, but because so much has changed with the branchings of reality, it was a, a whoopsie. I don't know, I guess we'll see. I am interested what they will focus on in season two of Loki. We already know that we have multiple MCU projects coming out that deal with the multiverse before we even get a Loki season two. So will it be mostly ironed out by then? Or will it be he is in the middle of just pure chaos and war. And you know, I was thinking as I was watching this, now that Loki is more of a, on the hero side, anti-hero side, and he's going to try to keep peace or stop the wars between the multiverse happening or Kane going super crazy, his alternate selves, that even though he's doing that, if he was in our reality, Twitter would be like, hey, this guy tried to dominate Earth. I don't care if he's trying to save multiple universes at this point. Fuck this guy, we gotta cancel him. Which, come on, who hasn't tried to conquer Earth? Genocide is something that, you know, humans themselves love to do. In fact, there's a few genocides going on right now in our world. As I like to say, humans, we're just silly little bitches. Though, if you think about it from Kane's point of view, where he went to them, you know, you're criticizing me for what I'm doing, but you guys have done horrible, awful things. So who are you to sit here and tell me that I'm a monster for what I'm doing? And I was like, damn, he has a really good point. Because people can change, Kang. The things I'm looking forward to, and not necessarily in Loki season two, but seen in future MCU uh, projects, is a council of Kangs. Yes, seen multiple Spider-Men from, I was gonna say my youth, but uh, more like younger years, seeing those actors play Spider-Man again is going to be so cool. Also, I really wanna see Loki hunt Sylvie's ass down. You broke his heart, Sylvie. That is not okay. So let me know your theories, your predictions, whether you liked this episode or not. Um, I'm going to try to do a season review, just all of it, but... I'm a dizzy bitch, who knows what I'm gonna do. So like, subscribe, and come back for more videos. Oh, sci-fi fantasy uh, related videos. I don't I don't really do other type of videos. Just a sci-fi fantasy channel in general. I don't like the real world.